Hey there guys, welcome back to another ration review. And today we have a vintage MRE. Now I haven't done one of these in quite some time, so it should be a good one. Now I got this one from my buddy, Old Smokey. He's got his own YouTube channel. He reviews a ton of rations, excellent ration reviewers. So make sure you check them out. The link will be in the description box. And um, yeah, let's uh, have a close look at this one. All right, let's have a close look at it. Start from the top. We have a meal ready to eat individual menu number three chicken stew from Right Away Foods Corporation. This was made in McAllen, Texas. Same thing repeated at the bottom. We have the number three on both sides. You can see it from each side. We don't have the usual peelable seal. We actually have a tear notch or a slit. The plastic is extremely thick, very rugged. This thing could survive anything. Nothing on the back, no markings, no date codes. And um, that's pretty much it. All right, let's not waste any more time and get this thing opened up. And right off the bat, we have some peaches. Let's see what else. We have the usual MRE spoon. We have an accessory packet. We'll check that out in a minute. We have a tiny bottle of Tabasco. These are always nice. We have a package of old school crackers. Nicely vacuum sealed. We have the main entree, the chicken stew. And there we have a date code and this was made in the 321st day of 1992. So there it is. What else we have? And we have some old school peanut butter. Should be interesting. And we have a beverage based powder grape. Feels like it's in excellent condition. And we have an old school flameless ration heater with the cardboard wafer. Very nice. And here's something I have not seen before. We have a Mars solid milk chocolate bar. Very interesting. I'm very curious to see uh, what kind of condition it's in. And uh, that's it. All right, guys, there you have all the contents. We have the chicken stew, peaches, crackers, beverage space powder, grape, accessory packet, peanut butter, a chocolate bar, tiny Tabasco bottle, a spoon, and your flameless ration heater. So let's get this stuff plated up and try it out. All right, let's check out the accessory packet. Let's see what we got. And we have instant butt ration. We have a moldy taster's choice instant coffee. Some mint gum. We have a creamer for coffee or tea, and this feels like it's uh, been compromised. Iodized salt. Of course, it lasts forever. Some matches. Pink tip. Some domino sugar. And a wet nap. That's it. Let's just verify and see if this coffee is any good, which I highly doubt it. And I'm sure you guys can see that there's some kind of dry mold, so this is completely trashed. All right, let's check out the main entree. I'll just open the box. There you have the pouch nice olive draft color all right so we're just gonna dump this in some boiling water we're not gonna take any risks just to be sure just to be safe all right let's prepare our drink and we have a great flavored drink let's open it up feels pretty good let's cut it open there you have it let's um make some purple drink should be good enough give it a nice quick stir and there you have the purple drink it smells really good nice and artificial let's, uh, let's get a quick sip Yeah, it tastes just like grape Kool-Aid, nice and sweet and delicious. So yeah, let's move on. 
All right, I think we should break out the old tray, which I got from old Smokey a long time ago. All right, while we wait for the main entree, let's check out the other components. And here we have the crackers. Let's, uh, let's see if we hear a hiss. There it is. Nice hiss. <laughs> All right, let's get them out without breaking them into a million pieces. And there you have them, two perfect squares. And there you have it, appears to be unsalted. Let's, uh, let's try it. Yeah, those crackers are in perfect condition, nothing wrong with them, no bad aftertaste, not bad. Let's check out the peanut butter. Give it a nice, good knead. And there you have the peanut butter. It's nice and creamy. It's got a little bit of a funky smell to it. More than likely due to age, but um, we'll still give it a try. Let's uh, prepare our peanut buddy. And there we have our peanut buddy. Let's, um, let's give it a try. Yeah, very surprising that peanut butter is actually really good. It did have a funky smell, but yeah, it tastes great. Nice and creamy, nothing wrong with it. All right, let's check out the peaches. And it looks like we have some blood. All right, let's uh, get this thing opened up. Yeah, and these peaches look like they're in really bad shape. Let's uh, get onto a tray. Oh yeah, look at that, yummy. Okay, so I guess we'll try the extremely old peaches. Let's, uh, let's just try a little bit, just so we don't get too sick. All right, let's, uh, let's try it. Yeah, the taste is just a bit off. You could definitely tell that they're peaches. They taste like peaches, but they just taste a little bit weird. And um, yeah, let's see what we have here. Let's check out the chocolate bar. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Yeah, this chocolate has completely bloomed inside and out. Yeah, I'd say let's uh, let's give it a try. Hold on, let me give it another try. Let's take a bigger bite this time. Yeah, not the best chocolate I've had. Obviously, it tastes just like milk chocolate, just extremely old and stale. Um, yeah, all right, let's check out the chicken stew. It's piping hot. And there you have it, let's uh, get it into our tray. Oh yeah. And there you have the chicken stew. You see large chunks of chicken, some potatoes, carrots, peas, all kinds of good stuff. Let's get a nice bite. Yeah, let's, uh, let's try it. Yeah, that's actually not that bad. The flavor reminds me of pot pie filling, same kind of flavor and texture. The gravy is actually pretty good. The vegetables just taste like canned vegetables. Yeah, overall it's decent for being really old. It's not that bad. All right, guys, that wraps it up. This was chicken stew, mini number three from 1992. And I must say this one was in actually decent condition. Everything was pretty much edible except for the coffee. And uh, yeah, I'm very surprised and happy with that. Just want to give a huge thanks and shout out to Old Smokey for hooking me up with this ration. Make sure you check out his channel. He's got a ton of ration videos. He's an excellent ration reviewer. So make sure you check him out. Make sure you check out the other ration reviewers. The links will be in the description box. So but yeah, hope you 
you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys come back for the next one. I've got a ton of rations lined up, ready to review, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. See you soon.